My name is Alexis Kirk and I'm a Senior Research Fellow at the Interdisciplinary Centre for Computer Music Research at the University of Plymouth. The project that uh, I'd like to talk about in my research is the Bikmi Midas project, which uh, comes from the research by my boss, uh, Professor Eduardo Miranda, who runs the ICCMR. His work into algorithmic composition and brain waves, and also my research into analysing brain waves to look at emotional content and also emotional algorithmic composition. Um, we developed, together with the University of Reading, a project, the Bikmi Midas project, and essentially what it is, it's, it's a form of musical pill popping. The idea is to allow people to have a, a piece of music generated for them by a computer, a very realistic sounding piece of music that adjusts in real time to their brain waves. So it's listening to their emotions and it's playing back music to them based on that. So if they want to get happier, it tries to play music to them to make them happy. If they want to feel more relaxed, the computer tries to play music to them to make them more relaxed. This could have great recreational uses, but it could also have um, profound medical uses. Uh, potentially, I, I mean, we, we're all aware of the existence of music therapy. Well, what if you could generate therapeutic music for people? Now, another key area of my research over the years has been machine learning. And obviously, in the Bikmi Midas project, as well as music generation and brainwave analysis, we needed some form of artificial intelligence that could learn how to link what was going on in someone's brain with the emotions and with the music that we needed to play them. That was a key area for me because of my machine learning experience. So I developed a machine learning model using the data that was sent to me uh, by the University of Reading and using the emotional computer composition system that we had here in Plymouth, I had to create a link using what's called instance-based learning and I had to build that based on the data that was sent by Reading. We were very happy, the results that came out gave us a, a fairly stable model uh, and then when we tested it out on real people playing the music and reading their brainwaves at the same time, we found that there was a significant amount of accuracy in that model and it was able to make some predictions.